you've had a neuropsych evaluation, and this would have been your first one. Would have been January of '06. Um, and what did that tell? Um, I have it. It's uh, there was several categories of neurocognitive deficits and short-term memory. Um, it's, I'd have to read it again. Um, they do a lot of different types of tests. The WASTE 3, the MMPI 2, and they did puzzles where they blindfold you and you have to take like a round piece of wood and then on the board find the round spot and then place it in there. If um, you were going to give someone who was 90 days from injury going to have a neuropsych test had a severe brain injury, what would you tell them to expect? What would you tell them about what was about to happen to them? Um, I would tell them to make sure that it's a full day test. We actually had somebody on our team high level Facebook site recently say that they were going to get some neuropsychological testing and then go and get their shunt checked. And I said, I've done seven neuropsych evaluations and not one of them was less than a day. Most of them were a day and a half. So she came back and said, you're right, they only did the MMPI2, which is more of a, a litigation play toy for lawyers and nurse case managers or whoever, insurance companies. Why do you say that about an MMPI2? Well, it's, it can be used to determine, it's, it's the, the test that they determine whether somebody's malingering or not, because they'll ask the same question over and over again every 50 questions. Do you love your mother? 50 questions later. Uh, is your mother your best friend? 50 questions later, have you ever gotten in an argument with your mother? You know, it, it's, it's a test of something, but I've taken it so many times now that it just, it's actually kind of nauseating because it's about 600 questions and it repeats constantly. What have the neuropsychologists told you about your MMPI profiles? Um, I don't think they discuss them. I think they discuss the neurocognitive deficits more than that. I mean, they just say that your memory, your short-term memory is bad. Um, there was some discussion that nurse case manager I met in November of 05 said that I was a 12-drink-a-day alcoholic as reported by my parents uh, who never reported anything like that. Once again, that's just another case of uh, bending the truth a little bit. But. Um, it was proven in one of the neuropsych evaluations that long-term memory was almost intact. I mean, you can see how much I'm filtering to you about my journey and, you know, long-term memory. But you asked me when we came back on, what were we talking about? The short-term memory is just not there. So um, they determined that the long-term memory deficits cannot be from alcoholism or anything like that. Um, so I was, I was very happy to read that. 